Heisty 2002 symbols are simply iconic, and I do realize the word iconic is overused in the modern day, especially if you go on Twitter, you just see the word being thrown around everywhere, but if you're in the drumming world, the Pisces 2002 line of symbols do warrant that phrase. When it comes to the history of rock music in general, it is very hard to imagine the evolution of drum sounds throughout rock's golden age without the sound of Pisces 2002 symbols. And speaking of history, welcome to this short history video. I'm going to include giant beat and Pisces rude symbols as a part of this video because they're within the same family of symbols for the most part. For example, one, the 2002 was the original successor line to the Giant B. And two, the Rude line of symbols was developed from the same alloy as the 2002 and Giant B symbols, so there's a lineage there. So let's start from the beginnings. In the late 1950s, Pisces began experimenting with different types of alloys. And this experimentation resulted in the Formula 602 lineup of symbols being released. And this was a symbol line that consisted of a more traditional 20% bronze mixture. So you get a symbol line that is more warm and dark in tonality. Then eventually, in the mid-1960s, Pisces develops their 8% mixture, which is similar to the B8 bronze that Zildjian and Sabian uses today. And with this alloy, you have the birth of Pisces giant beat symbols in 1967. The forerunner to the 2002 symbols. They quickly found their way onto the famous drum sets of the day, and you immediately think of John Bonham and the early Led Zeppelin drum sound. Although other famous drummers of the day, such as Nick Mason of Pink Floyd and Keith Moon's Crazy Ass also used these symbols. Several years later, Piesty Giant Beat symbols were discontinued. They were eventually reintroduced in 2005, and they have been slowly expanded upon since then. Since 2016, even a 26 inch ride symbol, okay, multi-purpose symbol, has been introduced. Someone seriously needs to get two of those and make a 26 inch hi-hat video just for shits and giggles. Good luck finding a symbol bag for that behemoth. Then, as rock progressed throughout its golden age, it found its sound in many other genres of music, such as blues, folk, country, and it eventually led to the development of many genres. And this leads Pisces to develop a new line of symbols released in 1971, and that is the Pisces 2002 symbols. The 2002 lineup of symbols was instantly successful, and when you think of the Pisces brand today, you probably first think of Pisces 2002 symbols. The red ink logo that you find on modern Pisces 2002 symbols are very identifiable to the brand and are a mainstay. They were, again, the simple sound of Led Zeppelin. They eventually found their way to be included on famous drum sets such as the drum set of Stuart Copeland of The Police and Alex Van Halen of Van Halen. I could go minutes on minutes listing drummers who have used Pisces 2002 symbols, but this is not a list video, this is a history video. The development of heavy metal and punk later in the decade led Pisces to developing a more aggressive cutting sounding symbol from the same alloy. And this eventually leads to the release of Pisces Rude in 1980. And Pisces Rude symbols are still popular today with heavy metal and punk rock drummers. I actually saw a video where the drummer of Behemoth referred to Pisces 2002 Rude symbols as brutal. I used to play on the Mega Power Ride Eclipse 24 inch from Rude but it's too hateful and brutal for a recording session. There have been significant changes over time with the Pisces 2002 lineups, and many models have ebbed and flowed into the lineup over the years. Even at extended periods of time, from 1994 to 1999, the Pisces Rude symbols was incorporated into the 2002 lineup as Pisces 2002 Rude symbols. Since we're talking about a lineup of symbols that is almost 50 years old because it's almost 2020 and they were released in 1979, I like to separate the Pisces 2002 eras into two separate eras, and that is the Pisces Black Label and the Pisces Red Label eras. The Black Label era symbols are the early Pisces 2002 symbols, and they went from 1971 to about mid 1979-ish when they started phasing in the red logo and that's where we are today. There's a side discussion amongst 2002 users about the differences between black label and red label symbols. Many have claimed that the black label symbols are warmer, darker, and thinner sounding than the modern 2002 symbols. And I've seen many different opinions on this topic but it's really unknown why that is. Because it could be residual manufacturing tendencies from the giant beat era or it could be a completely different reason. Although my general hunch is that they're based basically the same symbols. It's just that symbols sound darker as they age and black label symbols are now 40 to 50 years old. They're basically Generation X aged at this point. Though, hear them for yourself. There are many comparison videos on YouTube and let me know in the comments below what you think.
There have been some pretty interesting and notable models of 2002 symbols over the years, so let's cover them right now. It'd be hard to mention the 2002 line of symbols without covering a hi-hat innovation that preceded them by several years, and that is the Sound Edge hi-hats. Peisty Sound Edge hi-hats were the first of their kind, and the 14 and 15 inch sizes of Peisty 2002 Sound Edge hi-hats are simply iconic to rock and roll. Other notable brands such as Zildjian and Sabian also employ this on some of their hi-hat models. Zildjian has the Master Sound and Sabian has the Accelerator, but they're basically the same innovation. And the general idea behind this innovation is pretty simple. The bottom hi-hat symbol has a wavy edge to prevent airlock and to add projection to the chick sound. These style of hi-hats have a very bright and cutting sound and they're a must have for drummers going for that 1970s rock sound. Now moving on to a more interesting model that you may have missed. It's definitely not my cup of tea and it's definitely more of a niche thing which is probably why you haven't heard of it, but just take a listen to it, it's pretty interesting. And this is called the Peisty Rude Shred Bell. Another notable model worth mentioning is the Peisty 2002 Flat Ride. This was a Peisty first that first appeared on the Formula 602 symbols, but eventually made their way to 2002. Most, if not all, symbol brands now have their own version of the Flat Ride, and it's been kind of a niche thing ever since its release. It's for having this ride sound that's very tight, pretty quiet, and still airy at the same time, and it can be quieter because there's no bell. This is definitely one of those symbols that seems most useful in jazz settings. And there you have it, a shortened history of Peisty 2002 symbols. If you like this type of content, like, comment, and subscribe. I release multiple videos a week about guitars, drums, and music fanboying in general. And there's only one real way to end this type of video, and that's to play you out. And you guys are going to hear a Peisty 2002 20-inch ride. Enjoy!